What's guys? How y'all doing? I hope everybody's okay, staying safe and well at home. Uh, back again with another video. We're going to change up the subject a little bit today. Uh, I've had a request on social media to do uh, just something about basic wrist locks. Okay, so with the absence of a partner, um, only Boris, it's going to be a little bit hard, but I always like to talk about concepts because if you understand concepts in Jiu Jitsu, then you won't be bound by technique. Um, if you want to learn some great wrist locks, go speak to some of my blue belts like Dave Ball, my purples like uh, Coach Reese, and of course uh, Andy Bean, uh, Coach Andy, the brown belt, okay? They know a lot more about this subject than me, to be honest. This is not particularly my game. Most of my wrist locking experiences come through doing other martial arts like uh, Filipino Kali and things like that. But Basically, all you need to understand is the concept of any joint lock, really. Every single joint, it doesn't matter what it is, has a natural range of motion. So you're going to take it in an unnatural range of motion or beyond its point of where it will comfortably go. Okay? And to look at it from a very, very simple perspective, if you just understand my finger, it works very well that way. But if I pull it back, it's going to hurt. Okay? And that, that's the concept. So if you look at the range of motion of the hand, okay, you'll feel ways that it's comfortable and uncomfortable to go. And you can add rotations and twists and inversions. And you can just start to play with your own hand or possibly your husband, wife, significant other, kids. Okay, I used to do this to my daughter all the time when she was growing up. She'll tell you whenever she come to hold my hand, I would bend her wrist and play around and manipulate it and see which way it is. So understanding that, okay, and if we just take this kind of like swan neck or goose neck kind of lock like that, the next point where the arm could move is the elbow, okay? So if you were applying pressure here and I could somehow straighten my arm or get out of it, that's going to take the pressure off the wrist. So you need to somehow isolate the elbow and then apply pressure, putting the wrist in an unnatural position. Okay, these two, this one, and then backwards are, are favorites, but then there's, there is others where you'll kind of twist it and even push down like that. And then understanding that is really, really simple. Um, sometimes, any time potentially when the person puts their hand on you, you've got the opportunity to isolate the wrist, to isolate the elbow, and then kind of create a lock, all right? Like say, put the hand on here, you can push and, and bend. I don't know if you can see that, see? And even if people have made a fist to grab and they've got really strong wrists, sometimes you can, let's see, if you hit on the wrist like that, see? You're gonna bend that, and then you can come on top and isolate the elbow, and you can really force the wrist lock. Um, the one thing that I found about wrist locking is when you do it, you have to do it quite fast and quite explosively, like bam! Uh, I had a teacher, Coach Gabriel, you again, all right? Um, he was really big into wrist locks, and whenever you put your hand on him, it was like getting an electric shock. It was like bow, because he used to go so fast and so powerful. If you apply them slow and gently, people kind of get wise to it, they have a chance to escape, and they can sometimes wriggle out or slip it. Um, so when you go for it, you gotta go for it really quite fast, but then you can actually hurt people. So we tend not to go too hard and too fast, and that's why sometimes you don't have a lot of success with them. But um, bearing that in mind, now, you can hit wrist locks from like so many positions, especially if you just understand that concept. So. Uh, one thing that we always talk about would be if the guy on the bottom does the bench press. If you can see, he's already put his hand in that position. So imagine he's pressing on my chest. All I need to do is isolate the elbow and then I use my chest to <coughs> go for the wrist lock. It's so simple. It works really, really well. Um, again, even if he was strong, you see, I could pop that wrist, put my hand on top and then go. And you can find different parts to isolate. So uh, one of Coach Reese's favorite ones, he gets to the mount and he isolates the elbow with his shin and the mat. So we use the mat to pin the arm 
and then just simply pull on the wrist okay or you can start to twist and turn it so um have a, have a play i mean i don't know if you can see that but my i could use parts of my body to create the wrist lock it doesn't matter where i put the elbow on on my body or i could even i'm gonna get this one out of the way i could even use my own arm see like that so my arm i don't know if you can see is controlling his elbow and then i'm pulling on the wrist yeah or twisting and pulling so try them from the top try them from the bottom you know very simple stuff even if i've got like say like an americana i can be attacking a, an americana but then i could also be using this like a wrist lock see to bend his wrist so i'm using the mat to bend his wrist back sorry that way and then i could isolate the elbow here with my uh americana grip but also my shoulder and then drag it on the mat and squash down with my weight so there really is like loads and loads and loads of variations and i said i'm no specialist in them there's guys in my school who are going to be able to teach you so much more than me so hook up with those guys coach andy coach reese dave ball they're all crazy on the wrist okay uh, and they're gonna give you a really good education, all right? Bear in mind, the guys though, uh, wrist locks are only for blue belts, so blues, you can't tap whites with them, and whites, you're not allowed to try them yet, okay? But by all means, go and have a play with them, familiarize yourself with them, because as soon as we tie that blue belt around your waist, guaranteed, in this school, the guys are gonna go hunting for your wrist on the very first round you go with them, all right? Passage of rights, okay? I don't know how it started, but yeah, start getting used to that and start playing around with it try them from the bottom try them from the top try them anywhere even if you just try and manipulate your own hand and see which ranges of motion you're comfortable with yeah or somebody else's and then just think concepts isolate the elbow with something it can be the mat your leg your chest and then bend the wrist in an unnatural way and apply pressure simple stuff guys Hope you have fun. I hope this has been helpful. All right, like I say, hit those guys up when we get back to class. I'm sure they cannot wait to teach you and show you some stuff. All right, guys, see you soon. Take care. Have a lovely weekend. Wussa.